kids and parents. This weekend in AP Kids, we are reading about God revealing His might at the Jordan River. God could have provided a normal crossing of the Jordan, but He chose to lead Israel during the middle of flood season so that they could clearly see God's power at work. Joshua said to the priests, take the Ark of the Covenant, cross over the river ahead of the people. So the priests lifted the Ark of the Covenant and carried it ahead of the people. Joshua told the priests, go to the edge of the Jordan River and stand in the water. Then they started across the Jordan River. During harvest, the Jordan is flooded, so the river was at its fullest. The priests who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant came to the edge of the river and they stepped into the water. Just at that moment, the water stopped flowing. It stood up in a heap a great distance away so the people crossed the river near Jericho. Take them from where the priests stood. Carry the rocks and put them down where you stay tonight. So Joshua chose one man from each tribe. Then he called the 12 men together. Then the Lord spoke to Joshua, command the priests to bring the Ark of the Covenant out of the river. So the priests carried the Ark of the Covenant with the Lord out of the river. As soon as their feet touched dry land, the water began flowing again. The river again overflowed its banks. It was just as it had been before they crossed. They carried with them the 12 rocks taken from the Jordan. And Joshua set them up at Gilgal. Then he spoke to the Israelites. He said, in the future, your children will ask you, what do these rocks mean? Tell them Israel crossed the Jordan River on dry land. The Lord your God caused the water to stop flowing. The river was dry until the people finished crossing it. The Lord did the same thing for us at the Jordan that he did for the people at the Red Sea. Remember that he stopped the water at the Red Sea so we could cross. The Lord did this so all the people will know he has great power. Then they will always respect the Lord your God. By damming up the Jordan and bringing his people across, God also struck fear into the hearts of the Canaanites. After the crossing, Israel followed God's instructions and built a memorial to remember his mighty power. The teaching points will vary slightly from classroom to classroom. For example, the younger pre-K through first grade kids' teaching points will be God's power displayed, instructions to remember, God's power feared, the older second through fifth grade kids' teaching points will be Lessons learned A miraculous event Call to remembrance This weekend, we want to drive home that God leading the people across the Jordan River shows us something about Jesus. The God who brought the people across the Red Sea is the same God who brought them across the Jordan River. We can trust the gospel because God keeps his promises. Just as God displayed great power when he delivered Israel into the promised land, so Christ displays great power when he delivers believers into the kingdom of God. In response, Christians like the Israelites should remember Christ's matchless power, and thus they should fear him and obey him. We are so excited for you to join us this weekend. See you soon.